So problem 54, and let me draw the, um, the figure. So this is what you have in here. This is the block one. You have after it block two, and then you have block three. Um, with M1 equals two kilogram, M2 equals three, and M3 equals four kilogram. You have a force, horizontal force F applied on uh, M1 from the left. Okay, uh, so we expect uh, the, the, the effect or the impact of applying this force is that the system of the three blocks M1, M2, and M3 will move basically in this direction with a given acceleration uh, A. So A is the same for the three blocks because the three blocks, they, con they consist of a one system, they are moving together. So the ac their acceleration is the same. Uh, we are asked, first of all, to draw the free body diagram uh, separately for each block. So let's do it. Now, free body diagram. For each of these blocks. So we'll start with one and then two and then three. So have a look. This is a block number one, M1. Okay, this is the block two. And this is the block three. I'll just get this block closer. So this is the block two, and this is the block. Uh, let's write down, let's start uh, with them one by one. So for the block M1, we have, uh, so for all of them, actually, we have what, vertically, we have the weight and the normal. So this is M1, uh, G, N1, M2, G, and then N2, and M3, G, and then N3. Okay, now let's look at what happens on the horizontal direction. So the direction of motion, basically. We know that you have on the uh, uh, first block M1, you have a force, an external force F acting on it. And this is the force that makes the system uh, basically uh, the, the origin of the acceleration of the system. Now, what happens between M1, N2, and N2 and M3? So, is there any other forces acting, for example, on the block two and three, uh, except uh, the normal and the weight? It's principle, yes, because just the, the block M2 here, why we put a normal, for example, force? We put a normal force on the three blocks because they are in contact with the horizontal surface. So in this case, we have to take careful, which to be careful and to take care of the fact that the M1 and M2, they are also in contact. And this there is a surface of contact, which is in this case, vertical uh, between them. And for the M2, for example, there are two surfaces of contact, one with M1 and the other one with uh, M3. Uh, the maximum of friction, <laughs> the surface is maximum friction, maximum uh, friction, and frictionless. So in principle, there should be, I know M1 in her jaha, I'm in contact with M2 in her jaha, but there's no normal force on it. So let's call it, I will call it, so let's call this normal N, N2 على ال1 حتى اقول انه هالنورمال اتس اكزرتد باي ذا بلوك 2 اون ذا بلوك 1 وهيدي النورمال N2 1 هي بيربنديكولار على السرفيس اوف كونتاكت ما بين ال M1 وال M2 بالمقابل طبعا في عندي كمان نورمال جايه من ال1 على ال2 اللي هي N1 2 اوكي كمان نورمال على السرفيس اوف كونتاكت ما بين ال1 وال2 Now let's have a look at what happens between the block 2 and 3 in the same way the block 2 and 3 كمان عم ين كونتاكت مع بعضهم so I expect that we will have uh, another, this is a normal force here. It's the normal uh, force applied by the block three on the block two. Kamen ahi perpendicular ala surface of contact ma bain block two and three. Bil muqabil fi ande another normal that is uh, applied by the block two on the block uh, three. You have to remember that these forces, they actually form a pair of uh, action reaction. لانه مثل ما البلوك 1 عم يعمل اكشن على البلوك 2 البلوك 2 كمان عم يعمل رياكشن على البلوك 1 such that n21 و n12 عندهم نفس القيمه بس باتجاه معاكس اوكي سو دونت فورجيت ذات ذا ذا n21 ذا فورسز n21 اند n12 فورم ان اكشن رياكشن بير فورم ان اكشن رياكشن بير شو معناتها؟ 
معناتها الماجنتود لا ال n 1 2 هي ايكوال لا الماجنتود لا ال n 2 1 n 2 على ال 1 sorry so n 2 applied on 1 let's call this uh, for, uh, yeah any let so let's call it p for example okay in the same way we can say that n 2 3 and n 3 2 form a pair action reaction So in the same way, we can write down that the magnitude of N23 is equal to the magnitude of N32, let's call it Q. So this Q and P, it's, they are just letter to say that these two forces, they have the same magnitude, okay? And uh, so we draw already the free body diagrams. That was the, before we start the question. The question is, you have to find the acceleration of the blocks. Okay, so what are the acceleration of the blocks? Actually, the three blocks, they move with the same acceleration to part A. Let's say, first of all, that the three blocks, they form one system and therefore move with the same, move, so they have the same acceleration. Okay, uh, in order to uh, determine what is an acceleration, we have to apply Newton's, uh, Newton's law. So basically Newton's second law. So let's apply Newton's second law on the three blocks, one, two, and three. So let's apply Newton's second law on the three blocks, so M1, M2, and M3. And to do that, we have absolutely to take one system of reference. So let's take X pointing uh, leftward in the same direction of motion and we can F applied in this direction and Y axis pointing upward. Okay. Um, and let's make the uh, projection of Newton's second law على كل block. So بالنسبة لل block أول واحد so on M1 what can we deduce? يعني no. Okay, you don't will not have the picture at the same time but I will do it on the picture and then write it down. So في عنا plus F لأنه F نفس اتجاه ال X so we have plus X Minus n to one equals m one a. So on m one we have plus f minus n to one is equal to m one a. Uh, right? On m two. هلا طبعا في عندي كمان على m one y projection. بس the y projection كل شيء حد اللي يجي إنه في عنا ال n one equals m one g. So I will write it down, but this is not going to be useful in our case. بالنسبة للblock m two شو في في عنا بالنسبة للبلوك M2 في عنا plus N12 minus N32 is equal to M2A on the x-axis so plus N12 minus N32 equals M2A and along the y-axis we have N2 equals M2G and finally on M3 we will have uh, Plus n to three equals m three, so plus n to three equals m three a. Okay. And finally, n three equals m three g. But had all the projection of Newton's second law on the three blocks one and two and three. Let's put n one to one, n one to n to three, and n three to be in the one. Let's not make it a little bit difficult. So uh, let's write it down. So in the first equation of M1, we have plus F minus P, the N2 1 is equal to P, so we call it P equals A. In the first M2, the N1 2 is P, and the N3 2 is Q. In the first three, we call it Q equals the N3 A. There is no difference between the subject. I just write all equations in terms of P and Q so that it will help you uh, okay. uh, so basically these, these are the simultaneous uh, equations, set of three simultaneous equations uh, from which we are going to get the unknown. There are three unknown, the P, the Q, will A. Okay, the first part is to achieve acceleration. So let's 
do it. If we sum up the three equations, the above three equations, what do we end up with? إذا من جنب نجمع هول equations شو بيطلع معنا؟ طيب خلينا نحط كل شيء بقيمته، ال M1 هي عبارة عن 2A، ال M2 هي عبارة عن 3A، وال M3 هي عبارة عن 4A، right؟ So إذا جمعت هول ثلاثة equations مع بعضهم بيطلع معي F minus B من أول equation plus T minus Q من ثاني equation plus Q من ثالث equation equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4. 4a. So p and q they cancel each other plus p minus p plus q minus q. It's la mana bil akhir and f equals la 9a. So we deduce that a is equal to f divided by 9. The f is equal to 18 over 9, so it's 2 meters per second squared. So we understand that the a acceleration of these three blocks. Is given by two meters per second squared. Here, that's why we did not do that. Now, the second question can be asked. This is the first question, part A. Part A can be asked when we want to find the acceleration. We want to find the acceleration. Now, when part B is asked when we want to find the acceleration, what is the resultant force acting on each block? So, for each block, we have to determine the resultant force. طيب نحن شو بنعرف عن الريزالتنت فورس؟ نحن بنعرف انه الريزالتنت فورس هي مجموع كل الفورسز ذات ار اكتنج اون ا جيفن اوبجيكت، رايت؟ سو اف يو تيك اني بلوك اف ريزالتنت فورس اور نت فورس رح سميها. اوكي؟ سو مطلوب مننا نجيب الاف نت على اول اوبجيكت، الاف نت على ثاني بلوك والاف نت اكتنج اون ذا ثيرد بلوك، سو اي كول ذيم اف نت 1 اف نت 2 اند اف نت 3. Okay. Uh, what do we know from the Newton's second law? How can we find it? We have two ways. The first way is that we put the F net equals to what? For example, in the first case, in the case of M1, the F net is F minus N to one. We write it in this equation, right? This equation here. The net force acting on the block one is actually F minus N to one, right? This is the one. Okay, sorry, I have to go back again to the problem. <laughs> oh. So here is the F net acting on the first block, here is F minus N to 1. But I don't know what is N to 1. But I don't know that F minus N to 1, which is the F net that I'm talking about, is M1 times A. The M1 is what is the A, and the A is what is the A. So I can very simply deduce the F net through the following uh, procedure. Now, if in from Newton's second law, but Elna, and null F net is equal to mass times A, right? So for the mass number one, F net one is equal to M1 A. M1 is equal to two times acceleration two, start and the four Newton. The F net two, نفس الطريقة, هي equal to M2 times A. The M2 هي three. Times acceleration two, we have six newton. Will F net three be m three a? So as an here m three is equal to four times two, we have eight newton. So how in the net force evaluated on each block F net one, F net two, and F net three? They are given by these values. I just evaluated them using uh, Newton's second law, which says and it states that the net force acting on a given object is equal to um, ma, the mass times the average. Uh, now, another um, question, which is the last question, part C. What is the magnitude of the contact forces between the two blocks? So what are uh, the magnitude of P and Q? Okay. Okay. We already know what is the F net. Okay. We know that we have three equations. I mean, all three equations we already wrote them here. F minus P, P minus Q, or Q. We know that we have the A. We can get it from the whole equation. So let's do it. From Q, we can get it from the third equation. Have a look. 
We know here immediately that two is equal to four times a. The a here is nine, but here many Newton. So let, 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 me, let me call them equation one, two, and three. It's better. So this is equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three. So from equation three, we know that from equation three, we know that Q is equal to four A, which means is equal to eight Newton. From equation one, we know that F minus P is equal to two A. A, which is four Newton. So we can then deduce that P is equal to F minus four. So it's equal to 18 minus four, which is 14 Newton. So from here we can deduce that Q is equal to eight and P equals 14 Newton. And those are the values we are looking for. So these are the values of the forces, uh, the internal forces of the system acting between the blocks, which are the force of contact, uh, the forces of contact between the uh, blocks one, two, and the two, uh, three. So that's it for this problem. We are done.